Hey guys, this is King Stretch 101. We're gonna review the concept of PALES and RAILS. PALES and RAILS are acronyms for Progressive Angular Isometric Loading and Regressive Angular Isometric Loading. And they're a method we use in uh, King Stretch to increase range of motion within a joint by contracting um, the musculature that is around that joint. Now, a good way to practice, and one of my favorite positions to do pills and rails in, is the butterfly position that I'd like you guys to try too. So if we take a basic butterfly position, and first I would typically do a two minute uh, static stretch in this position, deepest stretch I can maintain. After that, it's a really good option to do some pills and rails. So for pills, I'm always going to be the progressive side, I'll be contracting the side that I'm ultimately trying to lengthen. So if I'm trying to open up my knees in the butterfly stretch, I need to activate the inside musculature, my adductors that are going to pull my knees in, okay? Which I'm ultimately trying to lengthen by getting my knees apart, okay? So when I'm gonna do pale's contractions, um, I will be driving in towards the center. I'm gonna hold on to my feet, and I'm gonna use my elbows, and that's gonna keep my legs from actually moving, okay? Because they're isometric contractions. So if I'm gonna do a pales contraction, I'm gonna pin my elbows in, and I'm gonna drive into my elbows, and I'm going to engage the musculature, I'm ultimately trying to lengthen. Now when I do this, I like to do it as somewhere between 10 and 15 seconds of that contraction, and I like to think of dialing it up. So the, the force that I'm gonna put into my elbows, every second, think of 10%. So as you get towards the end of that 10 second uh, contraction, that you're at maximal safe effort as you get there. So we'll just do one real quick. So I'm going to hold tight, I'm not going to let my elbows move, and I'm going to go 10%, 20%, 30%, 40%, 50%, I'm really starting to push now, 60%, 70, 80, everything is braced now, 90, and 100, the hardest I can do without any pain. Good. Now after that, I like to put pails and rails in tandem. I'm going to do a rails contraction. And the rails is going to be the musculature on the other side of the joint that would pull my knees apart. So immediately when I'm done my pails contraction, trying to drive my knees in, I'm then going to try to pull them apart from that position. With the same type of deal, dialing it up. So every second is 10%. And if you're doing it on your own, I like to think just like I did, counting out loud those percentage as you put more and more force into it. So if I go 10 seconds, pales contraction like this, I would then go 10 seconds rails, where I'm pulling the knees apart, pulling the knees apart, pulling the knees apart. And then when I'm done that, I would retake my elbows, move them, and put them in that new stretched position, and I would start over with my pails, I'm contracting, going into the elbows, dialing up for the 10 seconds, pulling apart again, and between, typically I'll do three sets, we get a much better stretch. Try it.